started today, we got a whole new batch of cold air, and it's also the first day of meteorological winter. When you separate the seasons by our temperatures, and you kind of round it off to months, December, January, and February, meteorological winter, spring, March, April, May, and so on. The astronomical winter that we all learned about in eighth grade earth science, that is three weeks away. That's also when we'll have our shortest day of the year. But our temperatures the next three months, whatever season you want to call it, average high, 58 today, average high on the first day of January goes to 51, and then we start a slow climb that'll warm us up, and we'll be complaining about 90s before we know it. But that is not the case right now. Look at the 24-hour temperature change. It's colder out today. It's colder out tonight. You know that. But how much colder? It's 22 degrees colder right now in Smithfield than where it was last night at 11 o'clock. Now, this morning, we started off around 40 degrees. Tomorrow morning, most of us in the mid and upper 20s. A cold start to your Friday morning. It'll be another dry day and technically a little warmer in the afternoon by about 3 or 4 degrees as we climb to 55. I don't know if that's noticeably warmer, though. You will notice a few extra clouds as we head throughout the second part of the day. And then rain returns on Saturday. And how about a new month and a new super sunset? David, who lives here locally, had to go out of town. He was driving on I-64 West in Kentucky, saw this, pulled over, and captured this for me. Let me get out of here so you can see the whole thing. What a great shot, and that's how easy it is sometimes. And if you would like to share a picture that you've taken over the past couple weeks or months, just drop me an email to send it at cbs17.com. I try to show them every night at 11. So high pressure, fully in control of our weather today and tonight. Tomorrow, it's going to start to scooch out of here. As that happens, we'll get a few extra clouds. As it gets even farther away Saturday, we'll welcome in another cold front with another batch of rain. So let's walk through together how this is all going to go down. I'll pick it up tomorrow morning again. It'll be cold out. Please bundle up. We'll get a few fair weather clouds throughout the day. But again, a lot of sunshine tomorrow, a little bit warmer. Notice the clouds starting to come more out of the south. That's going to help warm us up a little bit Friday and Saturday. And by Friday night, we'll have more clouds than anything. Could get a quick shower overnight Friday into Saturday while we're all asleep. And if you've got stuff to do outside Saturday, if you have to do it Saturday, I do it early. This is 7 a.m. You can see we're dry. Here comes that batch of rain ahead of our next cold front. It's going to slide through middle part of the day. 10, 11, 12, maybe 1 or 2 o'clock. It's not going to be an all-day rain. Not expected to be severe weather, but it's rain that we'll have to deal with. Should be out of here by 4, 5, 6 o'clock. Then our next cold front comes through, and we're going to do this all over again. The front's through. It'll clear out the rain. It'll clear out the clouds. And by Sunday, we're back to sunny skies, but it will be colder. One big event this weekend in our state, the ACC Championship. Saturday rain here, middle of the day. By the time kickoff happens at 8 o'clock at Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, it should be dry, partly cloudy and chilly as Clemson and North Carolina go at it. So dry weather for that, dry weather for this tomorrow. The wrap-up of the work week, 55 degrees. There are the clouds and better chances of rain on Saturday. But then the cold front comes through, cools us back down, dries us off for Sunday. So we're going to go 50s, 60s, 50s the next three days. We'll stay in the 50s Monday with a 10% chance of rain. Best chances of rain next week as we look at your exclusive 10-day. Looks like Tuesday has a 40%, as does Friday. So circle those as a few days with scattered showers. The best day next week looks to be Thursday. Right now, dry with temperatures in the mid-50s. All right.